Hi guys, welcome back to SHK Excel World. I am Salim Haider, and today I have brought to you one of the most amazing solutions. But before I tell you, let us first see this video. So, isn't it interesting? Yes, you have guessed it right. We are going to prepare a comprehensive timetable solution for your school. So, this will not only help you in automatically preparing a separate timetable for your each of your class but also a separate timetable for each of your teacher so that the teacher knows as to when the teacher is required in which class and for which subject. In addition to this, you will also be able to manage the allocation of your teachers for each of the classes which will be absolutely error free and without duplication. So if you want to know as to how this will be prepared, stay with me but first do not forget to subscribe to SHK Excel World and also click the bell icon. So guys this is the file we are using today, you can download this file from the link given below in the description and follow along. So what we have here, we have three sheets. So this is a format for your simple class timetable. So you can use any of the format anything you like, any color combination. The next thing we have is a schedule which will help us uh, manage and administer all of our school timetable and also help us to make it error free. And third we have a sample data because we do not have all day to prepare a timetable for complete school from scratch. So we can use this sample data to populate this format with the help of formulas. So let us first see as to how this schedule is going to be administered, managed and prepared. You can see that we have five different tables and this is the table where we have the uh, schedule being prepared or updated and then we have a list of teachers, the list of classes, then the list of days and then we have the list of subjects. So let me remove Saturday and Sunday from this one because I want to make this pretty simple without any holidays and breaks. Let us first convert all of these into table and name them first. So select any cell in your first table, press Ctrl T, it will select the complete range. You will have to tell it that your table has headers and press OK. And we do not need the drop down so press Ctrl Shift L so it's gone. Then do the same with the teacher, class, day and for the first table click on it, go to table design which is the menu or the ribbon for your excel table and go to extreme left side and name this table. So this is our schedule and now go to the teachers one, press ctrl T, enter, we don't need the drop down filter, control shift L, it's gone and now we are going to name it as teacher. So do this for the rest of the tables as well and we will meet you soon. So we have all of these converted into excel tables. So let us go to our schedule and see what we have here. We have the time start, time end. So this is basically a simple schedule for the complete school. Next we have the day, then the teacher, subject, class and then certain combinations which we are going to produce into our timetable. And then we have the time range, so this will also be used in our timetable. And then we have a check, so this cell will help us identify any duplication of allocation of the same teacher for different classes at the same time. So let us select the cell below the day heading. Here we are going to produce a data validation so that the person who is entering data for the school schedule does not commit any error in uh, punching the names of days incorrectly. So click on the cell, go to data menu, data ribbon, then in the group of data tools, click data validation and here click on the list. And for the source, select all the days except the day heading. So you should not select the heading 
otherwise it will also be reflected in your drop down and press ok so you can see that you have the names of the days then we have the teacher again do the same data validation list and in the source give all the range except the heading and press ok then on the subject do the same So we have our first uh, line completed. You can select all of these data validations, press Ctrl C and now select all of the cells below in your Excel table only and press Alt E S or right click and press Space Special and here you can select validation only and press OK. So all of the validation is now being copied to all of the cells. So let us first create a dummy data and then we will tell as to what we are going to do. Here uh, let us see that it is Monday, the teacher is George, the subject is let's say it's literature and the class is three class. Let me first complete this one and we will meet afterwards. Oh, I love maths. So I have to repeat the subject in the same day. So we are done here up till now. Let us first create these formulas which are going to be produced into this format. So for the teacher and student combination. So the class must know as to which teacher is going to come at, at which time and for which subject. So for the teacher and student combination, we need the teacher and the inverted comma, then we have the space, then the hyphen, then space and inverted comma again and n percent and we have the subject and it's done magically. So this is the benefit of your excel table. Now for each of the teacher, the teacher must know as to which subject and which class is the person being allocated. So for the subject we need the subject and then again we need the inverted comma space hyphen then space inverted comma and percent and then we need the class so this is for the teacher to know so it's done and now for the time range we want both of these times to be there in the timetable so we can use the combination of these Time start and then again we need the inverted comma, hyphen space, inverted comma, and percent and we need the end time. Oh god, this is some terrible formatting. So we need to address the formatting as well. I'm going to click into the formula bar and here I'm going to write text. We know that text formula can convert anything into your required format. So here it is our format and we need the format to be HH and colon and MM converted comma close bracket close and do the same for the next one text and the format should be the same. So we have our format ready and for the last one we are going to just join all of these one, two, three, four. So the teacher cannot be at the same time on the same day in two different places. So all of these four elements are necessary. So we are just going to use the text join formula. If your version of Excel does not have the text join formula, you can easily use the concatenate. So the delimiter here in this case should be the dash, the hyphen, press two commas and just select all of these four elements and press enter. So just ignore the format because we are not concerned with the format. Just select the complete column, press control one, go to custom 
and press the semicolon thrice and press ok so in this way it's gone now we just have to do it conditional formatting so that it can identify the duplicates so go to home ribbon conditional formatting and highlight rules duplicate values and just choose the duplicate formatting of your liking and press ok so we can now just so this is not going to be difficult once you have done this first step I'm just going to copy this complete schedule once more and go to here and press Ctrl V so it is automatically included into your Excel table and the data validation has been applied and the formulas have been copied and the formatting has also been applied so let us assume that it's still Monday and we have George as a teacher so it's not fine you can see that these are two duplicates which are saying that George has been allocated two times on the same day for the same time so what we can do is if you are unable to see the uh, duplicate highlighting properly we can just go to table design and we can remove the banded rows and now apply the control shift L or the filter button and here we can just easily filter by color so we have our duplicates identified we can see and change Mr. George with some other teacher so it's fine now so in this way you are going to create the complete schedule for your school and this will be done once and once it is done you are free to go so why we converted all of these into table format so the answer is simple as soon as I enter a new teacher, a new class, a new day or a new subject like let us insert Aslam as a new teacher and we go to our drop down in the teachers list and here is Aslam so the table format ensures that whatever is included in your table that goes into whatever is being linked to it either it's a pivot table or a formula or anything like this like data validation and for the next step we are going to use this sample uh, timetable of almost I think two three classes so which will be enough to create or format using formulas but since the video has become too much long we are going to cut it here and we will return with the second part of the video uh, in the upcoming week so stay tuned and if you have any questions related to this part of the video then do let me know and I will try to answer it in the upcoming videos so see you in the next video stay tuned bye bye